वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज बैटरी चार्जिंग सर्क्यूट्स ओके वॉट आर द बैटरी चार्जिंग सर्क्यूट्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कंटिन्यूसली वन बाय वन okay before that we have admission for online and offline courses if anybody out from outside uh, india so you can contact through the whatsapp okay whatsapp number is plus 9188618068 okay we are already getting the calls from i mean inquiries from uh, colombia nigeria Uh, Nairobi, UK, uh, England, uh, that UK only. So German and uh, many places. So Vietnam. Okay. So if you wanted to join our online course, so you can directly ask your questions or what are the doubts you can clear through this WhatsApp number. Okay. I'll come to the topic. So now today's topic is battery charging circuits. battery charging circuits so what is that battery charging circuit and what are the types we have battery charging circuits is a circuit to charge the uh, charge the battery hmm? to charge the battery what are the circuits we have to use to charge the battery okay so how many types of circuits having to charge the battery in laptop especially laptop i'm talking about circuits there are mainly two kinds so one is two types one is hybrid power booster what is this hybrid power booster topology second any idea what is the second one the second one is nvdt okay what is that nvdt hmm hybrid power boost technology topology second one is n v d t means narrow voltage direct n v d c this one direct current topology okay what are the difference in between hmm, these two that we will discuss with a schematic diagram uh here is a cedar uh, 13269 schematic is there in any older laptop or any kind of laptop in some laptops i'm talking about the direct charger they will use without type c what are the charger we use in laptop batteries without type c those all are called hybrid power booster hmm? these technologies are called hybrid power booster topology okay what is this hybrid power booster the power coming from the adapter see this ad the power coming from the adapter they will directly boost and gives to the current sensing register okay the once again i'll repeat the voltage coming from the adapter they will directly gives to the current sensing register through this high low uh, first and second mosfet okay here the main adapter voltage is injecting to the where current sensing register but for battery they will use buck 
okay after this buck converter the battery will charge okay this technology is called hybrid power booster topology this is the first one so in any laptop you can see the direct voltage the 20 volts or 19 volts whatever it may be they are given to this lr but the battery voltage will be only what 11 to 13 or 14 this kind of range you will get because here is the buck converter has used here okay after this buck converter what are the voltage we will use that voltage will comes to here when adapter is not connected that's why in adapter voltage will be 20 or 19 volts in uh, when it is working through the battery it will be what voltage 11 to 13 or 14 voltage okay this technology is called what hybrid power booster that's called topology okay the main second one second technology the topology will called nv sorry nvdc narrow voltage direct current this is very very important because nowadays what are the chargers are coming so type c type c chargers are coming so be careful of this nvdc this is very very important nowadays okay i'll give you example what is that nvdc i'll take uh, a lenovo thinkpad schematic okay here it has used nvdc technology see this is not adapter voltage this is pd voltage hmm? the pd voltage the after the type c voltage what the voltage we are getting that voltage is giving to input as this particular circuit nvdc technology circuits okay this circuit utilize this input from type c okay after this type c circuit it utilizes 20 volts here but the thing is here we are not going to use the clr voltages okay I'll repeat, we are not going to use the CLR voltages in NVDC technology, narrow volt DC technology, okay. These are two kind of circuits are using to charge the battery. You know, one major difference is here total four switching circuits are used. Here one is high low MOSFETs and here one is high low MOSFETs total four switching circuits are used here after that only we are getting the output voltage this particular voltage delivered to all over the motherboard okay i'll repeat here total four switching circuits are used to generate the output voltage see and one more important thing is when you connect the battery directly it goes to the output okay there is no switching circuit here see on cedar i'll tell you this is HP, uh, hpb technology what it will does it does so directly the clr voltage goes to the uh, over the motherboard all over the motherboard but charging section they are used buck converter after this buck converter only the battery voltage we will get understood my point when adapter is not connected this particular battery voltage will goes to clr that means it's a 13 voltage now you come to the come to know what is that nvdc nvdc is the output will be very low compared to adapter okay in nvdc the output all over the motherboard the voltage will be around 13 voltage 13 to 14 or 11 to 14 in between only it will be there that's called narrow technology by using four switching circuit the output we are getting that will be narrow it will be little less compared to adapter understood okay only these two technologies at present are using in laptops many are there but only these two at present okay the type c will convert to 20 voltage that will goes to this particular ic input and 
using this particular switching circuits the output this ic will give see from where it's coming it's a vcs the vcs is the final output from this particular ic so some question arised here actually many uh, people were asking here the voltage we are getting here around 19 volt uh, sorry 13 volts instead of 19 volts but the doubt is when we connected the battery then only we will getting the voltage or not the answer is absolutely no because this ic will generate vcs voltage in pin number 22 okay after this switching circuits the voltage output voltage will occur see here vcs 15 has given maybe 15 okay total 11 to 14 or 15 voltage we will get here once we connect the battery there will be no high low mosfet here there will be no buck converters okay directly this battery voltage supply will come to this discharge mosfet and directly through this discharge mosfet it goes to the output of this understood okay this is called nvdc narrow volt <coughs> dc technology so it's clear very clear right hmm? uh that's it anything else so nothing is there in this particular charging circuits but many questions arise regarding battery not charging hmm? battery not charging cases just hint i will give so rest of the things you people need to be take care see in hpd technology hmm? hpb technology what are the main important things the ic the ic connected mosfets first you need you need to check number 1 if this mosfet is connected through this ic the particular mosfet we need to check the gate voltage we need to check first thing is gate voltage should be proper then second is current sensing resistors there are two current sensing resistors will be there the ic will sense the current limit okay current limit through this particular resistors positive and negative terminal see here the connected resistor sometimes resistors also will be connected here that also may be faulty or this particular capacitor the divider capacitor will be there this particular capacitor also you need to check here it's a uh, decoupling and here is the difference one i mean uh, differential capacitor this also you have to check hmm? this should be okay condition the current sensor this uh, mean adapter clr and as well as battery clr circuits you need to check because this battery current it will check and here adapter current it will sense okay if these two sense is okay the current limits okay then only it will come to the other points okay the what is this uh, what is that the bst pin will rise region will rise okay and high low drives uh, gate drives will start okay so the thing is first thing is current sensing current should be okay battery current and adapter current should be okay second thing is bo uh, bo boost okay in that boost diodes one side will be around 4 to 5 volts and other side will be the battery phase voltage phase voltage if you connect the connected the battery is connected then around 13 volts you will get otherwise 2 uh, 2 to 3 volts you will get approximate one side will be phase voltage and other side will be bst voltage approximate 4 to 5 voltage you will get here this point you have to note down in case this capacitor has short then also you won't get the battery charging okay second point is over and next point is high low switching mosfets you have to check whether this mosfet condition is good or not that you need to check okay the condition i am telling before charging this condition is must this capacitor high low mosfets current sensing okay resistors and then finally the main important most important thing is sda scl the communication communication between battery and this ic the communication voltage sm bus should be there it's from io this particular signals will come from io 
in io the crystal will be there through that crystal this high low pulse will generate and it comes to the charging ic okay this path you need to check here signal has to come okay clock and data signal has to come uh, uh, there will be 3.3 voltage but it's not uh, enough along with that voltage you need to check the signals okay and what else main thing is feedback circuits also you need to check sometimes feedback circuit also will give the problem hmm? so here high gate and low gate there will be no voltage it will be pulse there will be pulse that you have to know down hmm? and here it should not be short with this source the gate should not short with this source that point also you have to know down major uh, condition battery also will be faulty that battery also you need to check okay now that's it the main two technology hpb and nvdc if you have any doubts or any questions put it in comment box so i'll try to clear those doubts okay uh, one person from colombia he asked about uh, charging ic bq 25100 i think so the working function the it has only uh, eight uh, pins okay that uh, in next videos i will explain okay uh, because we are doing the videos regarding the laptops but which you ask that one is for bluetooth charger i mean bluetooth charging section hmm? uh, definitely i will explain in next sections okay that's it here thank you thank you very much